look at this. It looks like a pile of shit here. Okay. What's going wrong? I'm hungry. My name is Alan, and I am the hands of Share Food. This is damn rubbish. Huh? So much top food behind this just to screw up at the last moment. Today, I am challenging three of my colleagues to cook from home. They have already chosen what they'll be cooking, but there's a twist. In each challenge, I'll be giving them a common food that they must incorporate in their dishes. Here are the rules. They have 30 minutes to cook, they cannot change the dishes, and they only have one lifeline. If they require any help, they can text me any question and I will help answer their questions. Hello, people! Hey! hey. Who here misses bubble tea? Yeah, me, yeah, me. Let's go through what flavors you guys will be eating today. So let's start with Ajin. Ajin, so what are you making for your bubble tea today? Uh, I'm going with one of my favorite bubble teas, which is honey milk tea, because it's the sugars are natural, so that's why I prefer it. Okay, Lily, why are you making? Okay. Basic. I drink like normal milk tea. So I'm gonna try to like pearl milk tea. Okay, William, what are you making? And then today I will be making a uh, gula melaka fresh milk uh, milk tea. That sounds good. Can't wait to see how you guys are doing. doing everything from scratch. So from last week's challenge, Lily, you are the winner. Congratulations, Lily. So this week you get to stumble somebody. Who are you gonna pick? Okay, so uh, I think this week I will pick William because last week Kaiji no. was Kara Sabo and I feel very bad. No. And William one sounds very very good, so I have to I have to kick him down a notch. Okay, so William, before I tell you what the Sabo is, I want you to go into the kitchen and take the biggest measuring cup you have. Biggest measuring cup that I have. Okay, yep. can let me go to the kitchen now. Yep. Okay. Okay, William, you're back. This is your biggest measuring jar, okay? Yes. So your sabo is, you have to fill that jar with your bubble tea. This is like one, one litre leh. Like. This is one litre of okay? yep. <laughs> The broke. secret ingredient for this episode is... Chocolate. Huh? Chocolate? I don't know, I don't know what I have leh. Oh my god. Okay, no problem. Are you guys ready? Make some chocolate bubble tea. Ready! 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 And your 30 minutes start. Now, go! Okay, the first thing I'm gonna get uh, is chocolate. Yep, I have some chocolate chips here. I'm gonna be melting this uh, in the microwave and we'll probably pour around the cup to give it a little bit of a like, nice chocolate design. So the first step that I'm gonna do is to work on the pearls first. We are going to make honey milk tea today and for the pearls, I decided to use sweet potatoes. So let's go. And now peeling it. We are going to boil more water for the tea itself. Guys, it's chocolate. What do I do with chocolate? Oh my God. I want to do is to steep my tea. If I can remember correctly, you have to cook the sugar and water together and then you put the starch. I'm making a mess, my mom's gonna kill me. And it's only just the flour. Okay, we're adding in water, brown sugar, all the tapioca flour, and then stir vigorously. I'm going to be needing my full cup of brown sugar. Water. Actually, I'm not very confident. This isn't on. Okay. Am I supposed to mix this? Dump the whole. Okay. I'm not too sure whether the I melt the gola malaka properly, but it's okay. It's gonna. Ooh, it's hot. Wait, look at that. Don't burn your fingers. Okay, now that my steamer is in, I'm gonna put it, put my sweet potato in a bowl and steam it. Ah oh, shit! The tech came off. Oh my god, I'm gonna do horrible. Oh, this smells really good. So I think this is quite boiled, right? I mean, it's simmering. Okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna have time anyway. This doesn't look like it's working. Oh my god. Okay, it's supposed to knead until the dough is smooth. So look at this, it looks like a pile of shit here. Okay. I have to fill up one liter of 
bubble milk tea. I'm not too sure how many bubbles I need though. Okay, okay, okay. I think this is good. I think this is good. Then I'm supposed to add the flour in. Help la. How do I do this? Did I put in too much flour? Okay, I think we're supposed to need it now. Wait. You guys have 20 minutes left. It's 20 minutes already, shit! You know what, I'm just gonna chuck in another sweet potato for me to eat later. <laughs> I'm hungry. There's some more kajin. Give some eye power. Maybe a boy faster. Doesn't look too hopeful. Okay, I think I'm just supposed to knead it. If I can, this is like really hot. Oh, how am I going to use the chocolate? I forgot I had to use chocolate. Oh my god, this isn't going out well. Okay guys, halfway mark. 15 minutes left. <laughs> oh my god, all the faces. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna lose this challenge. Why did I think it was easy to make this? This looks like yoke Add the bubble all at once. Which means that it works. Now let's move on to prepare the uh, chocolate. Is that okay? Is that enough? Okay. Let's just add a bit more. So I'm going to do 10 for the first round. A moment of truth. Yes, it's done. I'm just going to add one tablespoon of sugar. Tapioca flour. So let's go. Two Ferrero Rochers inside. I'm going to cut it open and get the hazelnut inside. 10 minutes left. 10 minutes! Oh my god, I'm not going to do this. Okay, I'm going to roll up this part on me because this part seems like it's the most elastic which is what we want in a boba ball. It's not even rolling into a ball! Chocolate. Dude, the chocolate smells is so strong. Holy crap. So, um, I'm gonna add in some milk to my chocolate to make it those like liquidy, fluidy um, kind of um, chocolate that I want rather than these uh, chunky looking ones. Guys, you only have three minutes. Three minutes? Where yeah. got time? Yeah. Cannot, 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 cannot. No, uh, extend please. Extend please. Please. <laughs> please. Okay, so everybody seems to need more time. I'm going to extend yes, more time. 15 minutes. So you have 45 minutes in total, okay? Good. But no yep. more than that. And that's your lifeline for this whole episode. Okay? Okay, good. Okay, I've got extra 15 minutes. So I'm going to start uh, kneading it now. You can see your friendly kneading your dough. You really need those extra 15 minutes, man. I'm not too sure whether am I Bubbles done. Mmm, they are soft already. Yeah. Yeah, they are done. Okay, I'll be uh, mixing this bubble in brown sugar so that it doesn't stick together. You see? Yeah, legit bubble soon. Okay, I think that's good enough. I'm gonna start shaping it now. It looks like poop, but. Okay, now that my boba is in pieces, I'm gonna start boiling them now. I'm gonna. Add water to this. I'm gonna put in a kisses, chocolate coins. I'm gonna microwave this for about 20 seconds maybe. My water's not boiling. I got my chocolate milk. I infuse like different types of chocolate in there so it's got to be good, right? Okay, okay, I think my water's boiling. I think my water's boiling. It's actually working out better than the last time I made it. Uh, I'm gonna start adding my pearls in now. Just... Now that all of them are in, cover it up and Cook till they're done. And with that, you guys have 10 minutes left. 10 minutes. Here, I have my tea. Just gonna remove the tea, the tea bag. Pour in some HL milk. It looks like milk tea to me. I'm gonna add this chocolate into my squeeze bottle. What's the best way to do this? Hopefully this works, huh? It doesn't go down. So <laughs> it doesn't go down, but at least now you become my own little Fighting back. You look like Jin from this angle, right? You look like a cockroach, like from your side view. This is damn rubbish, uh. So much top put behind this just to screw up at the last moment. You try your best, but you don't succeed. Last five minutes, everyone. Okay, I think my bobas are done. I'm just gonna go drain them now. Okay, I have no idea they were gonna be that big. Pour them into this bowl here. And add some sugar. 
Okay, so now I'm gonna start plating my bubble tea. It don't even look like boba, so add in your milk tea. Tada! Final step, ice. And we're done. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm trying to make a little syrup so I can cook my toes in so that it looks a bit darker and not as sad. Oh no, I should put them. I should put them in cold water. Okay, so this should give them the jelly-like texture. I see a little bit of a jelly forming already, so I'm gonna put it in here now. Oh my god, one bottle ran away. So I'm gonna add in my milk here. Gula Malacca syrup. Just a finishing touch. I'm gonna add in that little bit of pink salt at the top. Okay, just to give that little bit of taste to it. I'm done. Yeah, hey, William, done. It yeah, actually that doesn't look too bad, eh? Good job. How much time do I have? You will have exactly one minute left. Okay, LA, round. Okay, I'm gonna stop playing because I only have one minute left. I don't care whether my thing is done or not, but. Lily, hurry up, Lily. I'm trying. Okay. I didn't put ice. Oh my god, it's all dropping. Come on, Lily. 10, 9, 8, eight 7, seven eight, 6, six five, 5, 4, four three, 3, 2, one. 1, 0. Okay, stop, stop. Oh my god, yeah, it's your time. Amazing, woo! <laughs> okay, let's see your bubble taste. Go ahead to the screen. It should look more better. Yeah. Let's go through one by one. Uh, let's start with so, Kaijin. Go. This is my honey milk tea. Like when I was making the shape, right? I think I made it too big. Uh, so like it's like fish ball shape. Uh. Where's the chocolate? <laughs> Oh, the chocolate, I actually mashed it uh, inside the sweet potato bowls. That's very creative at putting chocolate in your bubble, your boba. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the next fastest. William, show us your huge <laughs> bubble oh, tea. Kick ass oh, bubble tea, Gula Malacca uh, with fresh milk. You can see that I actually melted some chocolate uh, mm. to place by the side. This is actually inspired by Monet, 1800 <laughs> century. <laughs> oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what I did, uh, so I added in the uh, fresh milk as well as the uh, melted uh, gulak malacca syrup at the end. Uh -huh. Then uh, just to spice things up, I actually added in a, 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 a pinch of uh, pink salt to bring, oh. you know, just, just to mix the flavour together, pink salt, yeah. Okay, moving okay. on now, Lily, okay. you finished right on the dot. Yeah. How did it go? <laughs> um, okay, so I struggled a lot with the pearls. They are there. But uh -huh. like the on screen they look really tiny. It's actually quite huge. It's just that it's, it's huge. Of course, I didn't have black food coloring, so it looks like very light. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, the... right? I infused yeah. it. I infused it into the milk. As you can see, I like infusing stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, I also crumbled some Ferrero Rocher on top, but there wasn't much there, and it already disintegrated. And then mm -hmm. the, I put a bit of chocolate and put it, but it's just there. I did a good effort. Okay. So, since this is the last episode of the Cook From Home Challenge, I'm still going to pick a winner. But winner, you don't get to sabo someone. It's your prize is that when the circuit breaker has ended and we can finally go back to work, you get to pick a dish that I have to cook for you. Oh. <laughs> okay? The winner of this challenge, the person that I'm actually the most impressed by, is Kaiji. <laughs> and you actually started like making your boba dough the last and I was actually very worried for you like I don't know if you can finish on time even with the daily extension but you did and you finished first so good job Woo. you can okay. okay. choose what I'll cook for you at the office okay. thank, thank you so you. much guys for tuning in with us I hope you've enjoyed this whole series of Cook From Home thank you everybody here for participating so enjoy your bubble tea see you guys next time hopefully back in office Bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.
and that's the end of our cook from home series thank you so 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 much for watching i know this isn't our usual content but we have did our best during this circuit breaker and i hope that we have entertained you well enough also hopefully we've inspired you to cook more from home after circuit breaker so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up like it share with your friends and family and don't forget to like and follow share food singapore for more awesome content until then keep indoors keep cooking and keep safe Hopefully, you'll be washing my hands again soon enough. Bye! Okay, I just tried one of the pearls. I think it's a little bit uncooked, but it actually doesn't taste too bad, surprisingly. Very good, it's soft, it's sweet, you know, exactly what you get from koi, or even better. Okay, you all should try you know, what I've done here at home. Okay, it's really really easy and you know, if you need the recipe, I could even share it with you. That's all for today. Thanks guys. Bye!